What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today we're going to be reviewing the newly released Master Out Mini Mic. This is a direct competitor of something out there like the Mod Mic. Essentially what this is, is a detachable modular microphone you can add to any pair of headphones. For people out there who don't really understand the purpose of this, you know gaming headsets tend to have really crappy microphones unless you're spending an arm and a leg for a really high-end gaming headset. So with a Mass Drop Mini Mic or a modular microphone like this, you can add it to your favorite pair of headphones that you have and essentially turn that into a gaming headset. And the best part is the Mass Drop Mini Mic comes in at only $25 right now on the site. What? Taking a look at it, the Mini Mic has a 7.5 inch boom arm here, which is the length of the microphone. We call it the gooseneck mic because it is very, very flexible and it stays in whatever shape you put it in. The mic itself then connects to a 3.5 millimeter cable that is 10 feet long. So there's, you're definitely gonna have no issues here, you know, connecting it to your PC. And if your PC is more than 10 feet away from you, you might wanna tidy up your space. And for the inline controls here on the cable, you do have this mic switch. It reads min to max, so it's pretty much going to be like your volume switch here for your mini mic. And before we move on, we've seen a lot of these modular microphones connect to your headphones via a magnet. But what's kind of interesting here is they used a special type of Velcro. Once you attach a 3M adhesive to your favorite pair of headphones, whatever headphones you want to use, the Velcro lock fastener is going to be how you attach the microphone to the ear cup. And to get a better look at it, like I said, this is not your ordinary Velcro here. You can see the tips have like a ballpoint at the end. This is what's going to help it connect and stay connected. There's some serious strength here, so you're not going to have to worry about it falling off or anything like that while you're gaming. And now for the most important part of the review, we're going to do a mic test for the Mass Drop Mini Mic to see how it sounds. And this is pretty much what you're going to be deciding your entire purchase decision on. So we're going to head to PC and do a little sound test for you. All right, so this is the mic test for the Mass Drop Mini Mic. And honestly, guys, for $25, this sounds 10 times better than what I was expecting. There's very minor distortion in the background, you know, very little noise. I thought there was going to be a lot more than it currently is. And this is completely raw audio. It's plugged into OBS, so this is how it would sound if I was live streaming on Twitch or YouTube. Very happy with it overall. Uh, one quick note out of the box, the little inline control is set to minimum, which is negative 56 decibels, so it's pretty much like muted. When I first plugged it in, I was like, why, aren't, why isn't my audio working? It's not showing up. So you have to push that up to max on the inline, in the inline controls to uh, get it to sound like this. But just really great stuff for $25. And also, like I said, if you're using this for live streaming, right now I am currently clicking my mouse and typing on my keyboard. And everything from what I've heard, it does a really great job of eliminating um, like background noise and stuff. It just really emphasizes the voice here. Very little background noise or distortion. Very happy for $25. And that got me thinking, how does this sound compared to its competitor, the Mod Mic? Let's check that out. All right, I look absolutely ridiculous, but I have both mics attached to my headphones. On my right side is the Mass Drop Mini Mic, and on my left side is the Mod Mic 4.0. That's the one that I used, or I guess I could say used before the Mass Drop Mini Mic. Uh, this one retails for 50 bucks, the Mod Mic 4.0, and the Mass Drop Mini Mic is 25. So I'm bouncing back and forth now so you can hear the difference between the two overall the different uh, sound quality for each of the mics and again for that price point this is half of the price of the mod mic. You guys can judge which one sounds better and which one is going to be a better value in the end if you need a new microphone for live streaming or anything like that. So now that you've heard both mic tests, I think you guys can decide which one is going to be best for you for the price point out there. And honestly, I am very impressed. I know I said it before in the mic test itself, but this just really blew me away. I think it sounds great. Overall, the mini mic is very lightweight, which is good. It attaches to the side of your earphones or your headphones very easily, which is also a good thing. My only downside here is that I think the 10 foot cable is a little bit too long. It does have this little like rubber zip tie for it, which you could, you know, uh, kind of tighten that up a little bit so it's not just drooping all over your desk or on the floor. But I think something like six feet would be enough. Uh, but again, that's extremely minor. That's my only real gripe about this. For $25, the Mass Drop Mini Mic is absolutely a great buy. If you want to check it out, I'll put it in the description down below. And it's what I'm going to be using if I ever need to attach a microphone to my headphones in the future. Like I said, for gaming, for live streaming, anything like that. So if you like this video, guys, and I hope it helped you out, give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.